so uh, today we will be starting lesson number 5 which is with, which is a practical chapter and uh, it deals with graphic design in using adobe photoshop so i'll be showing you how to do various activities using photoshop and also how to do it in paint at the same time okay so our first activity is uh, this one which goes as uh, difference between let's click on it the first activity that we have is difference between bitmap and vector graphics okay so let's uh, open this pdf document so over here is a simple explanation of difference between the two so it goes as graphic software can produce two types of images one is bitmap and the second is graphic uh, vector graphics okay so when it comes to photoshop or paint or whatever graphic software you're using your final image can be any one of these two either a bitmap or a vector graphics so if it is a bitmap images bitmap images are used generally for photographs and scan documents okay they are made up of small squares which are called pixels okay so bitmap images are made up of tiny squares and each of those squares are called pixels so in chapter number 2 even in chapter number 1 we learned of resolution and we said the higher the resolution the more the number of pixels we said when a camera has a higher resolution it means it, it can take higher quality images because more resolution means more number of pixels which means the quality of the image will be very high okay so bitmap images are made up of these tiny squares which are called pixels each pixel is a tiny square of one single color images that use more pixels are said to be higher resolution that images that use fewer pixels meaning that the image is better that meaning that the image is better quality image is it clear so images that use more pixels have a higher resolution or you can say they are better quality images okay so if you look at this particular explanation over here it goes as figure 16.1 the left side of this image uses fewer pixels than the right side of the image so if you look at this side of the image you can see it uses fewer number of pixels and you can actually see those pixels visible okay but if you look at the right side the image appears quite clear because the number of pixels that have been used are very high on this side while on this side it is low so image appears kind of pixelated okay then over here it gives you another explanation it goes on to say uh, using a 256 pixel grid which is on the right side allows you to represent a circle more accurately than using a 9 pixel grid so on this side a 9 a 9 pixel grid is used to represent a circle and it looks very poor it hardly looks like a circle even over here it's a 256 pixel grid which is used to represent a circle so you can quite clearly see a circle has been formed over here so basically what we are saying is the more the number of pixels the better the quality your your image is going to be okay so do remember bitmap images are made up of pixels okay are made up of tiny squares and each square represents one single color of an image furthermore higher resolution images you can say images with a higher number of pixels require more storage than lower resolution images because data has to be stored for a large number of pixels quite obvious images which have a higher number of pixels are going to be higher in file size that is because a large number of because that is because data has to be stored for a large number of pixels okay so this means that higher resolution images have larger file sizes than lower resolution images if a bitmap graphic is enlarged okay if you zoom into it if you you know stretch it then each pixel is enlarged is it clear so when i zoom into this image or when i enlarge in this image each of these pixels they also get enlarged they also get uh, what do you call uh, stretched this means that if the image is enlarged too much individual pixels will become visible this is referred to as pixelation and can be seen in figure 16.3 so in image 16.3 if you can look carefully i'll zoom in a little bit more for you you can see that you know the the, the pixels are starting to become visible you can see it doesn't look very smooth it doesn't look very clear okay you can see slowly the pixels are starting to appear it looks a bit blurry so this is actually a problem when it 
comes to bitmap images. In bitmap images, once you start zooming in or once you start enlarging the image, you would see the pixels starting to become visible. Or you would start seeing the tiny squares that make up the image. So the image might start to appear a bit blurry. Okay, that is actually one problem in bitmap images. You can, once you start enlarging it, the image may start to appear blurry. Okay. Moving on to vector graphics. So we learned that there are two types of images. Now one can be bitmap, one can be vector. So now we completed vector, uh, we completed bitmap, and now we move on to vector graphics. So vector graphics do not pixelate. Okay, that's the first thing you need to remember when it comes to vector graphics they do not pixelate at all or they do not pixelate when enlarged because they are made up of points or coordinates and lines is it clear vector graphics are made up of points or coordinates and also they are made up of lines these are recalculated each time the image is redrawn either by a printer or on a screen Vector graphics can be used to create image styles that are different to achieve in a bitmap image. For example, they are often used to create cartoons, technical illustrations and landscapes used in computer games, all of which need to be redrawn at different sizes in some way for the purposes of animation and to give the appearance of depth and movement. So when it comes to vector graphics, I told you they are not made up of pixels. So which means you can zoom in as much as you want, you can enlarge it as much as you want. The quality of the image simply will not drop. Why does it not drop? Because each time you enlarge an image, on the image there is a mathematical formula which is running in the background. So when you zoom in, that formula automatically readjusts the image. Is it clear? So what happens is the image will never pixelate. The quality of the image never drops because there is always what do you call calculations taking place in the background which is redrawing the image according to the way you zoom in and you enlarge it that's how it works so vector graphics is always a very good option if you are drawing an image which you do not know how it's going to be used so i'll give you a very simple example uh, without talking about what's over here for example if you take a company logo so for example if there is a graphic designer who designs a company logo it would be always recommended that he saves a company logo as a vector graphic because a company logo might be used to print a large billboard, that company logo might be used on a letterhead, that company logo might be used in sticker. The size of the logo can never be defined. That logo might be used for various purposes. Okay, so when it comes to a company logo generally, the graphic designer will be saving the company logo as a vector graphic so that the company can use it for any purpose. Big or small, it does not matter. The image will not pixelate. Okay, moving, moving further on, figure 16.4 shows the key difference between vector graphics and bitmap graphics. Okay, so if you look here, they say that this particular image of the bottle has been zoomed in seven times. Okay, so they're showing if it's a vector, look, image appears still sharp and crisp okay you don't notice any drop in quality you don't notice any blurriness over here but once it comes to a bitmap image as you can see you can see the corners don't look very sharp they look a bit blurry okay that's because these are made up of pixels so once you zoom in the pixels start to become visible okay so because a bitmap image is made up of thousands of pixels it pixelates whenever the viewer zooms in too far the vector graphic does not pixelate because it is made up of a series of simple mathematics coordinates which means that when the viewer zooms in the image is accurately reproduced at a larger size okay so when you zoom in in a bitmap what happens they say uh, it pixelates but when you zoom in in a vector image since it is made up of a series of simple mathematical coordinates okay the image will always be accurately reproduced okay mathematical formulas are running in the background of vector images, redrawing it. Each time you zoom in, it's being redrawn. Okay. So now I'm going to do a simple uh, experiment with you all to show you all how it works. So I have Photoshop open, open over here and I'm just going to do a very, very simple image. So I'm just going to come to File New. Okay. You don't need to do it on your computer. You just can just follow what's happening over here. So right now my image resolution is 300, which means that this image is going to be made up of 300 dots. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the resolution. I'm going to make it just 72 dots. Okay, I'm going to make sure I'm going to make it just 72 pixels. Okay, so it will be quicker for us. So the file size will be smaller, it will open faster. Okay, so 
I have taken an image over here. I'm just going to draw a very, very simple shape, something like this maybe over here. Uh, okay, and let's uh, increase the size of the stroke as well. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some simple text over here. And I'm going to say this is a shape. Where did not come? Smaller. This is a shape. This is a shape. Yeah. So I have this image over here. Background is white. There is a circle here with the black color border. There is some text in black color as well. Now I'm going to save this as a. I'm going to save it in two formats. I'm going to first save it in a vector format. So when it comes to vector, you have various formats. PSV is one format and uh, PDF is another format. Okay, when it comes to vector graphics. For vector graphics, if you save it as a PSV, it will be considered as a vector. If you save it as a PDF, it will be considered as a vector. Okay, so I'm just going to save it as a PDF file. Okay, I'm just going to keep the name as untitled. I'm going to click on save and uh, say okay say save pdf yes okay and i'm also going to save it as a bitmap image to show you the difference so i'm going to come to file save as so under bitmap you have also some options i'll just show you two options one is jpeg and another one is which we call png okay so jpeg and png are bitmap uh, photoshop uh, sorry bit uh, i'm sorry jpeg and png are bitmap graphic extensions okay so bitmap type files will be either PNG or JPEG. There are even more, but in our textbook, we'll be just focusing on JPEG or PNG. So I'm just going to go with JPEG and I'm going to say, okay. Okay, so I have saved it as two types. So I told you, you look over here, I have the PDF file and this is the JPEG file. So JPEG file, I told you, it's a bitmap file. It's a bitmap graphic and PDF is considered as a vector graphic. So now if you look over here, we did tell you that uh, bitmap images are made up of pixels, which means that once I start to zoom in, once I start to enlarge in the image, the pixels should start to become visible. Okay, so let me zoom in. I'm zooming in. Yes, as you can see, it's not appearing very sharp. Look over here, it looks okay. But the moment I start enlarging this, you can start to see that the pixels start to become visible. Okay, this is the problem with bitmap images. Bitmap images, once you start zooming into them, the uh, pixels can start to become visible or the image can start to appear blurry or the quality of the image can drop. But on the other hand, I have over here a vector graphic with me. Okay, I do have a vector graphic, so let me close this. It's already 225% zoomed in, so I'm going to zoom in even further. As you can see, each time I zoom in, image still appears quite clear, quite crisp. Okay, do you notice any blurriness in the corners or anything? No. That is because each time I zoom in, there is a back, there is a formula running in the background that is resizing the image. It's resizing the image each time I zoom in. I have zoomed in 6,400 percent times in. Okay, so it's not appearing blurry. It's not appearing what you call pixelated because each time I zoom in, there is a formula that is running in the background that is uh, resizing the image. Okay, so it does not draw, it lose its quality. Okay, so I do hope you have understood the difference between bitmap and vector graphics. Sorry, this is bitmap and this is vector. If you do have any questions, you can comment uh, below on this video or else you can even personally WhatsApp me. Okay, and I'll be more than happy to answer your question.